It doesn't even, is that even a cut? It looks like it's just a line. Yeah. Like yeah, but once you see it on there, you're basically cutting off the bracket that is welded to the right. frame. So, how are we not going to have to weld them? Because it all bolts up. It all we bolts drill up. holes. Oh, and drill everything holes. That's sketchy. Drilling holes? No, not In a brand new car. Because they're all reinforced, they're called a factory location. Yeah, but no, you don't understand. So, if you look on there, they yeah. have like these things that go up on top of it and sandwich the factory frame. We found that there are some tools that we need that we need that to go there? buy, so that's gonna be the first thing that we do for tonight. So excited! I don't do math. I can't math. Should buy a yardstick for the Cressida. I already have one. Aren't you smart? <laughs> Dad, open the car. Dad, unlock the door. Dad. Right here on the on the right side of it. You ready? Oh, it's gone. No, no it's not. I right, park in there. It looked it looked what like an Apollo. Park in there. We're going in. Turn around. Dad, turn around. We're just in my window. That's kind of Look at this legend. We thought it was a skyline. Chaser. Yeah. We got looted. I'll give him that. It looks pretty sick. It's not bad for a Honda. Yeah, it's not bad at all. What's going on guys? Today we're going to be putting in the 4 inch long arm lift kit by Rough Country. We're just going to get as much done as we can tonight. Uh, we just had to go pick up some parts that we didn't end up having, uh, like some drill bits and some other stuff like that. So uh, we should have everything that we need to put it in and I'm pretty excited. I have Jeremiah here. He's the one with the lifted Vic. He's come to help and we got some other people that are at McDonald's right now but they're coming to help as well. Um, so we'll see how far we can get tonight. Hope you enjoy. So first thing, we're gonna lift this thing up, right? Why are we wearing sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> first thing, I think we're gonna lift this thing up, put it on some jack stands. Uh, we're gonna put it as high as we can. Obviously, I don't have like any, uh, what'd you say, like three quarter ton uh, jack stands or whatever, three so. Three ton. Three ton, three whatever. Ton. Anyway, so uh, we're just gonna put them as high as we can. Oh man, we can't. Dude. Huh. The vet's on them. That's a good thought. Well, um... Shit. I mean, we got rears, but I have nothing to put on the fronts because the wheels, the heritage wheels, are off to get refinished. Um... Well, this is kind of like a jack stand. Cinder blocks. Cinder blocks. Dude, literally put, put it on vet. blocks. Put the vet on blocks so you can use the stands for the... All right, well, we're gonna figure this situation out. Get these jack stands out from under there, put this thing on something, and then uh, we'll start on that thing. Gosh darn it. I got this thing straight center blocks, so that's pretty cool. So now we got these. We're gonna set them up on there and start doing whatever it is. I don't know what's first, but we'll have to read the instructions because this is kind of new to all of us. Just Jeremiah has the most experience with lift kits in general. It's got more nuts. Nice. I wish this thing had like a hair more nuts. A lot of the times they'll jack the car literally over sideways like this and they'll put a tire in the door. Prior to installing this kit with the vehicle on the ground, measure the... <laughs> oh, we already fucked up. We're destroying a Jeep overnight. What? We're taking a, a brand new Jeep apart. And we're destroying it. Cut, taking a grinder to it, cutting shit. Oh, shit. Front track bar, but we're going to have to probably fiddle with it because we didn't do as the instructions stated. Well, that's pretty normal. Fuck them. All axle moves. Can I see that feather technique? Oh, that was the last time.
Is this what they're on? Yeah, that's a big girl. Did you take yeah. your front factory skid plate off? Already? That's already off. Again? Ready? Yeah. As you can see, it's the next morning. It ended up getting too late uh, to make too much noise, and the next step in the process is to start grinding and cutting away some of the factory mounts. Not only do we have to cut these mounts here for the factory control arms, but in order to even get to this one, I'm going to have to cut the exhaust. And then this is where you see uh, that factory loop that we're basically replacing. And then the replacement one uh, moves it all the way over and kind of gives us more clearance for the drive shaft. Of course, we had to go with the Harbor Freight hacksaw. I just picked that up. So we're going to cut the exhaust. Uh, unbolt it from the back, pull that out of the way, and then we'll start cutting these mounts. Restriction, yeah. Fuck fucking that. exhaust as a loop de loop. Yeah. What do you? What's your goal here? You gotta cut these fucking things off. So me and Jeremiah just got finished grinding all the factory brackets away. Uh, this took us quite a long time. It's not very hard. It's just meticulous and takes a while, uh, especially since uh, we didn't have the recommended tools, which is a plasma cutter. So we just used a grinder, which said it was fine. And it does okay. It's just probably not as clean as it could be. Uh, I might go back and do that better later. But we're going to go ahead and put a layer of this rust reformer on the bare metal, uh, try and keep it from rusting. So you can see this factory bracket, that one, and then the identical ones on the other side are all cut off. And uh, it's very difficult and it would take a lot longer in order to get them absolutely perfect. But I think they're not half bad. Uh, we got them cleaned off uh, as best as we could anyway. So we're going to go ahead and put a little layer of spray paint on them. We got both sides sprayed and now we're going to install the new cross member. Uh, we have to jack up the trans to lift it up because it is mounted to it. And then we can mount the new one and we have to install some brackets and stuff and that will require some drilling. So this might take a little bit long as well. Oh, got it. Heaviest thing yet, easiest part to install. Yeah. Go for it. Damn, dude, third try. I kind of just been working on this thing for a little bit now. Finally got one of the control arms in. Now you can see I got this whole uh, brace mounted and everything and it's all torqued down. So one of the control arms is in, but I got to do the other one and then we're going to do the top ones and then the springs. So we're really starting to actually put some stuff back in this car now. <laughs> 
I don't really remember where I left off. I've got both springs in. The front end is almost entirely done with the exception of the other brake line, the track bar and the sway bar end links. And then tomorrow I'll do the rear. It almost looks like a monster truck with it mounting so far back. And then the rear is gonna be mounting even farther forward than that. So I think this is just gonna look absolutely amazing when it's done. I've been working on this thing since seven o'clock this morning. It's about 12 o'clock now. So I've been working on this thing pretty much all day. Uh, not really constantly, a little bit of breaks here and there, but uh, it's definitely a very involved process doing this. Again, it is like the absolutely most inclusive kit from Rough Country. So it's like, there's just, you're replacing and taking away and adding so much stuff that it's just, it's a lot of work. Um, but it goes to show that you can do it in your driveway. As I had said previously, if we had a plasma cutter, this would have gone faster. Anyways, guys, the rest of this install will be in a different video. Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out. Oh, 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 oh,